The Giant's Graves, Chambered Cairns, near Whiting Bay on the Isle of Arran in Scotland. The North Cairn Situated high above Whiting Bay with the Holy Isle in clear view is the Giant's Graves, Neolithic Chambered Cairns. There are two sites here which are 40 metres apart. Please leave a comment below if you have visited the Giant's Graves or any other sites on Arran. The Isle of Arran has over 20 chambered cairns. The majority of these are the Clyde design type. The Giant's Graves are just two of these sites. Here we have a North Cairn and a South Cairn. On my first visit here in 2006, the cairns were completely surrounded by trees. Since then the forestry has been cleared away. It is now possible to see the beautiful Holy Isle and on a clear day across the water to the Ayrshire coast. Our ancestors constructed the giant's graves between 5,300 years ago and 5,000 years ago, which puts us in the New Stone Age or Neolithic era. The giant's graves would have been used continuously over a long period with the beliefs and rituals changing with time. Unlike other cairns, the giant's graves were not sealed permanently. The cairns would have been very important to the Neolithic people on the Isle of Arran. An extensive community effort would have been put into constructing these large megalithic sites. The North Cairn is the bigger of the two and in its present state is much depleted and unrecognisable from its original appearance. A keen prehistory enthusiast will want to visit this site. The surviving chamber is 6 metres long by 1 metre wide and aligned north-south. The large tilted megalith on the left side is covered in modern graffiti from the 18th century onwards. The original construction from over 5,000 years ago may have been used as a womb tomb with birth, death and rebirth ceremonies taking place. The cairn was excavated in 1902. The finds were leaf-shaped arrowheads, burnt bone, flint knives and pottery. Also in the chamber was a layer of charcoal. Excarnation may have taken place where deceased family members could have been left to be defleshed by ravens in the semi-circular forecourt area. Parts of the skeleton could have been placed into certain areas of the chamber. Remains were sometimes buried with arrowheads, knives and decorated pottery. The South Cairn The smaller South Cairn has a 4 metre long chamber. In the present day, not much is left to see. The South Cairn was excavated in the 1960s. Some of the finds were burnt human bone and shards of pottery. This cairn overlooks the sea onto the Ayrshire coast. The Giant's Graves have public access. They are situated near Whiting Bay, just off the A841 road. A steep climb up to the site will reward you with two fantastic Neolithic sites and a cracking view over to the Holy Isle. Also close by is the Glen Ashdale Falls waterfall. Thanks for watching this short video. Please share on social media and leave a comment or question for a personal reply before Caledonia is also on Facebook. This video is part of a series on the Isle of Arran's ancient sites. Please check out my documentary on the Macri Moor prehistoric complex. A link can be found below in the comments section. Before Caledonia is a historical project on Scotland's ancient sites which focuses on stone circles, standing stones and rock art etc of the Neolithic and Bronze Age eras. You can support Before Caledonia through Patreon where you will receive exclusive benefits or donate through PayPal with the links below. Thanks to my current Patreons and a huge thanks to our ancient ancestors.